GMs be around, fam. We recently rolled out some improvements to the compute dashboard interface to make it easier to navigate. We are going to review those changes for you in this video. First off, after you log in, the first change you'll notice is that we rename clusters to projects. The new dashboard will display a list of all your projects. Each project will display how many instances you have in that project. You can click the Load More button to display additional projects if needed. The Create New Cluster button has been renamed to Create New Projects. If you click this button, you will notice that we have updated this flow to display a new modal window that will allow you to name the project and add a description. After that, click the Create button to configure the instance you will create. If you click on the kebab icon, the three vertical dots at the top right of a project, that will bring up the project menu that will allow you to delete a project. If you aren't seeing a project you just created, you could click the refresh button on the top left of the project list. If you are looking for a specific project, you could use the search box next to the create new projects button. Go ahead and type in the name of the project you are looking for, and the projects list will automatically filter the list of projects that match that search term. Now let's check out the project instance page. If we click on a specific project, that will bring us to the instance list for that specific project. On the top left, you could see a new breadcrumb element. This navigational element can help you return back to the project list page. Each instance in your project will be listed here. By default, the name is automatically generated to uniquely identify that instance. If you don't see an instance you are looking for, go ahead and click on the re refresh button. You could also use the search box to filter by instance name, or you could use the filter box to filter by status. On each instance listing, you could click the kebab element, the three vertical dots at the top right to bring up the instance management menu. This menu allows you to close or restart a specific instance. You could create new instances using the create new instances button on the top right. You can also manage multiple instances by using the on hover checkbox at the top left of each instance box. This allows you to close or delete multiple instances at once. Keep in mind, you must close an instance before deleting it. Now let's take a look at the instance details page. Let's click on a specific instance and we could see the breadcrumb navigation at the top left that will let us return to the project details or project listing page. And on the top right, we have a refresh button to refresh the instance data. The kebab element, the three dots at the top right of the instance will bring up the instance menu that allows us to rename, restart, clone, or close an instance. This page has been redesigned with a navigation menu on the left side. The overview page will list services running on this instance. Then we could click instance logs to view specific logs for this instance. We could use the search menu to search for specific logs or the refresh button to update the displayed logs. Then we have deployment logs, recent activity, domains that allows you to configure specific domains and subdomains for your instance. And finally, the settings page. This page will allow you to update your instance settings such as instance plan, storage, and configuration such as environmental variables. The settings page also has a top menu that lets you view and configure health check settings as well as perform instance management such as restart, rename, close, and delete. 
Going back to the overview side tab, if we click on a specific service, we can view details about this specific service. On the top left, we see the breadcrumb navigation, and on the top right, we see the refresh button. We also have easy access to metrics, mapped ports, and connection URLs, as well as logs. The logs interface on this page also allows us to search and refresh logs. On the left-hand side navigation, we can access the shell command menu. The shell command section lets us issue specific commands to the instance. And finally, metrics lets us view specific metrics such as CPU and RAM utilization. We hope that these UI updates help improve your Spiron developer experience. Please send us any feedback you may have on our Discord. Thanks so much for joining us on this learning journey, and thank you so much for being a part of the Spiron fam.